Good morning, guys. Now, why are we not surprised <laughs> as CNN all of a sudden they had technical difficulties during Obamacare victims' broadcast? Yeah, we don't want to let that out there, do we? No. It says, yes, yeah, CNN did it again. Whenever CNN pretends to be a news organization, rest assured, they will always tip their hand, revealing themselves to be nothing more than shills. For the sake of posterity, let's revisit some of CNN's recent forays into the unfortunate world of technical difficulties. CNN cuts off congressmen who dared to discuss WikiLeaks. Bernie Sanders cut off after calling CNN fake news. CNN host cut off after criticizing Hillary. And congressmen cut off after citing refugee crime stats. <laughs> oh, what's also interesting, according to CNN, it's illegal to possess stolen documents, a.k.a. the WikiLeaks emails. So in the event you're interested in reviewing its findings, please refrain from doing so and let them, the professional journalists, convey the details of its contents to you, the unwashed manlet. Oh yes, I'll put that into the description box for you. You'll have fun reading it, I'm sure. Moving on. Rand Paul teaming up with Tulsi Gabbard to stop the U.S. from arming terrorists. That would be a good thing. Now, so what do we do about Obama and Hillary and all the rest of them that were arming the terrorists? Well, when time allows, obviously we need to investigate them, indict them, prosecute, and put them behind bars. Obviously. Um, what else here? Uh, Falon Gate. Four ways. Penelope Gate, Lone Gate, Suitgate, Nosegate. Right message, wrong time. <laughs> French presidential candidate Francois Fillon is largely correct about things that need to be done to heal France. However, his message is lost in all of those gates. Yeah, I don't know that he's the right one anyway. Anyway, Turkey says migrant deal has ended. May unleash millions of refugees. Well, sounds like it's, it's time for a major war over there. That's what it sounds like. Um, but, you know, something, I'm not so sure that that's not what Merkel wants because that's how they'll stay in power. So, is this something that they've ginned up? Not Turkey, but the EU in order to stay in power. Got to look at that. Bank of England Deputy Governor resigns after failing to disclose her brother works for Barclays. Why wouldn't she just come clean with that? Is Turkey lost to the West? It's been lost for probably quite some time. Uh, North Korea threatens U.S. with merciless strikes as U.S. carrier arrives. You know, I don't know who's going to go after him first. Either us or China. It'll be kind of interesting to to see here. Goldman Warren CBO report will substantially delay Obamacare repeal. No, the only thing that will delay that is the U.S. Congress itself. Um, oil tumbles after Saudi's report big jump in production. Kuwait warns of drop to 45. I say let it go down. That's fine with me. Um, the powers that be have looted everything. Greek farmers fight riot police with shepherd crooks. He says, we want them to take back everything they have encumbered us with. To us, it seems like the powers that be have looted everything they have. They have indeed. Uh, the EU banning Islamic headscarves, sparking angry protests from Soros funded group. You know something? They really need to find Soros and do him in. They really, really do. Um, and, um, and, here, and here's what's so bizarre. You have the European Union, which has brought in all these migrants, just flooded into them, and now they're going to say, oh, no, I smell a rat. In other, in other words, I don't trust the EU at all. At all. Um, and then, uh, 
why Robert Schiller is worried about the market. He says, I don't generally call the entire market wrong, but I find it hard to say why stock markets are so unvolatile right now. It's because they're being pushed that way, and when they bring them down, they will be brought down with a mighty, mighty sledgehammer. Guys, that's all for now. God bless you all. Have a good day, and I will be back in a few minutes. Bye-bye.